Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. The quest for the classic physique is something that most bodybuilders strive for, and for the most part, look at Steve Reeves as the greatest bodybuilder that exemplified both the classic physique and standards of symmetry. In the classic physique and how to obtain it, Steve discusses what exactly the classic physique proportions should be for bodybuilding, as well as categorizing the correct height to weight ratio a bodybuilder should strive for, which will be discussed today. Before discussing Steve's guidelines to develop a balanced and symmetrical physique, it is important to note that we all differ in our genetics, and therefore inherently possess different bone structures that will determine the amount of muscle mass and the way our muscles attach to our skeletal structure and therefore in shape. Having said this, Steve argues that although no two bodybuilders are alike, because our bone structure tends to be in proportion to our height, classic physique proportions as listed depend on the bone measurements of your wrists, ankle, head, pelvis, knees, and total height in inches. This means that if you were to measure yourself to determine if you have classic physique proportions, you would first need to measure the circumference of the wrists, ankle, head, pelvis, knee, and the total height in inches. Once you have all these measurements in inches, you can proceed to calculate the size of your arms, calf, chest, etc. to determine which body parts are in proportion and which are not. According to Steve Reeves, the optimal classic physique proportions are as follows. The arm size should be 252% of the wrist size. The calf size should be 192% of ankle size. The neck size should be 79% of the head size. The chest should be 148% of the pelvis size. The waist should be 86% of the pelvis size. The thighs should be 175% of the knee size. And the weight should be 295% of the height. Again, all these calculations are in inches. So for example, if you possess a seven inch wrist, which is pretty average, then your arms would have to be 2.5 times greater approximately in size in inches, which equates to 17.5 inches. And that's a pretty phenomenal arm size for a guy with a seven inch wrist. This would also mean that if you are five foot nine or 5.75 feet, or 69 inches in height, then your body weight should be 207 pounds. For those that use the metric system, one can use centimeters for all body part measurements too, except a different calculation would be needed to calculate the weight to height calculation. That would be something like weight in kilos should be 54% roughly of the height in centimeters. Now, just for reference purposes, such calculations made by Steve Reeves were based on the classic text by David Willoughby, The Complete Guide to Muscular Measurements, which is available on my website, that goes into classic physique proportions in greater detail. It is also important to note that although Steve wrote these guidelines for natural bodybuilders, some variation in percentages will most likely occur between different people as can be expected, without necessarily changing the overall symmetry. So basically what Steve is trying to say is that these are just guidelines and not rules that are set in stone. Having addressed what classic physique proportions are, Steve also devised a chart which allows one to determine if one is at an ideal weight for one's height as follows. The chart is calculated for a medium boned man in mind. And again, like stated before, variations between individuals is to be expected. For example, if you are heavy boned, you can add 10 pounds, or if you are light boned, you can subtract 10 pounds. So there you have it. Those are the classic physique proportions as stated by Steve Reeves and serve as the standards of symmetry as written by one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, subscribe and click the bell button and please leave me your comments. I will be following this video up with a video addressing the question, did Steve Reeves achieve the perfect classic physique? That's coming up soon, so stay tuned. And until next time, this is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now.
Now, if you're interested in learning more about how Steve Reeves developed his rib cage, I've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, which explains a very rare and unpublished Reeves rib cage and full body routine. Of course, my website has many other booklets on Steve Reeves' methods, specifically how I develop my waist, how I develop my broad shoulders, and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond shaped calves. All available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels, as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.